A couple of things happening with Be Ready. Uh, this month we have a March special going on that if you buy a rod holder with a riser you get, and a side mount, then the side mount's free. So we're running a special um, this month just to try to promote more side mounts um, sales. Also, uh, we're coming out with a new mount for pontoon boat owners. Uh, they have a square rail with a wall on the outside of that railing. We've got a um, uh, sort of like a, a square rail clamp that goes on and locks down and you can put a, a Be Ready rod holder on top of it and it's coming out in the next oh, 30 days. It's going to be a new mount and it'll be on the website. Um, <clears throat> for uh, Pro Angler Tackle, uh, I've got some more 12 foot <coughs> rods coming in. We're sold out right now. But I've got the Eva handle and some cork handle rods coming in by hopefully by March 26, if Customs is uh, friendly to me. Um, <clears throat> you'll be able to pick those up um, either on the web or at my store or at Finney Tribe. Again, with the 8 foots and the 10 foot Pro Angler rods, you can pick them up at Finney Tribe or at my store out in Lucas as well. I uh, did three shows this year. First part of January, I did Collinsville, Illinois at the crappie show up there. Last year they had um, 7,500 crappie fishermen in three days. This year it was 8,750. And um, there was about 20 or 30 people in my booth. And they hit those crappie, those um, sickle jigs. They're not, um, they haven't seen those. They saw those for the first time last year. This year they totally cleaned me out. Uh, and in February I did Nashville, Tennessee. And that was a lot of fishermen there. Some bass fishermen and crappie and catfish. And a thing called sauger, which I had never heard of before. It's some form of a walleye that fishes on the bottom. And they're big sauger fishing. So they, they came in and looked at my crappie rods and wanted to know if I had a sauger rod. I thought that was a brand name of some kind. I didn't know that was a fish, <clears throat> but evidently um, they fish on the bottom with sauger fishing with jigs about the size of my thumb that weigh anywhere from three quarters to one ounce. And they bounce them right along the bottom. And, they, and evidently they say that walleye is better tasting than crappie, so, or that sauger is better tasting. I don't know. Let's have a good round of applause for Mr. Patey. this on? Okay, uh, as y'all know we had this seminar that the basis of this video was made, what, a year and a half ago? Close to it, maybe almost two years ago right here and um, had a good turnout and a pretty good seminar and I have been kind of working on it ever since to get this video out and enough people finally pressured me that we got through with it but we took that original hours footage and threw out about 50% of it. I think we cut it down to 34 minutes and then added back in some more updated uh, scenes, some fishing on the lake stuff went in with it, make it a little bit more entertaining and and tried to increase the number of actual screenshots with identifying information about them. So I think the last count that video contains about 80 actual screenshots with identifying the fish that are in every one of them. About 50% of them are side scan and the other half uh, would be regular sonar. And it's all different models of Lowrance, Eagle, Humminbird, whatever. So there's, there's an awful lot of, of information on there and there's a lot of different fish on there. You know, normally we are pretty well only interested in crappie, but when you're looking at at your graph when you're on the lake, you're seeing a lot of fish that aren't crappie at the same time. And so I, for the last two years, we've been fishing and catching a lot of fish just to see what they were so that we could better identify them. And believe me, we found some god-awful schools of gar. We found in one place a, a five-acre school of fish that just 
paved the bottom turned out to be drum, all drum. And you could catch them just as fast as you could drop it down. But uh, we lost interest pretty quick <laughs> with that. <laughs> but th the whole thrust of the thing, it's not to teach you how to turn it on. Like so many videos do, say, so well, you press this button, turn it on. You press this button to increase the sensitivity. You can read your book and learn that. What I've found that, that everybody that I take out for one of my seminars want to know is, what am I seeing? Is, what's brush? What's a drop-off? What does a ledge look like? Uh, you know, uh, on a standing timber, how do you see fish? On bridge columns, how do you see fish? What are the fish? So the whole thrust of that thing now is, is almost exclusively identifying fish and, and, and identifying brush and structure. This time I'd like to uh, ask Mr. J. Don Reeve, founder, board of director, retail giant, <laughs> and a pretty good fisherman, J. Don Reeve, for Finney Tribe. Okay, boys and girls. Now we get to talk about toys. <coughs> I've figured out over the past couple of years that most of the new stuff, they start talking about it at the very end of the summer and through the winter. And oh yeah, they start talking about it at the end of the end of the summer and through the winter. And then usually about this time of year or in the last month or so, a lot of the new products. New colors, new innovations, new things like that are coming out. So all I'm going to do tonight is real quickly show you some of the new toys uh, that we've got and then tell you about some of the toys that are on the way. And this is in no particular order. Um, one of the, the slab bandits, these have been out for quite a while and I imagine a lot of you guys have already tried these. Uh, Robert Howell, crazy angler over in Nakona, Texas is making the slab bandit. Very unique. Uh, little crappie bait. Got a little bit. It's almost like kind of a, kind of a overweight bass assassin. It's got the got the little tail and everything. Comes in a lot of different colors, and it's got a garlic scent. The end of March, he's got some new colors coming out. So be looking for those uh, if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for any of the new colors of the slab bandits. Most of you, if you were at the extravaganza, saw the the new crappie saver from Ronnie Caps. Uh, we've got those at Finney Tribe Bass Pros got them. I think even Academy's carrying them now. So, very cool little uh, device. Keep that in mind. Uh, fishing line. There's not a whole lot happening in fishing line right now. But if you get, if you like fluorocarbon line, this is a new uh, a new fluorocarbon line. It's called Vanish Transition, and I've used, I put this on one of my rods a few months ago and started trying it. You know how the clear blue strand kind of has the clear color, but when you get it in the sunlight, it glows that that blue color. Well, this is fluorocarbon line that glows gold. Uh, now it's not as bright as your yellow monofilament like Wally line or Vicious, but it's got a good glow to it that you can see above the water. So if you like uh, if you like fishing with fluorocarbon, but you don't like the fact you can't see it above the water, you might check out the Vanish Transition stuff. It's I've, I've been pretty impressed with what I've seen on it so far. Uh, Bobby Garland, I don't know how many of y'all have been down to our store and seen this. Um, it's kind of amazing. Bobby Garland is just going nuts all across the South right now. Uh, they are running. They're running three shifts, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, kicking out baits right now and trying to keep up. Um, and in the in in Texas now, we're one of their largest dealers. When it comes to the baby shad, we have every color Bobby Garland makes. We have every color of their. Uh, um, What's that called? The slab slayer, two-inch slab slayer, and three-inch slab slayer. Um, we've got every color that they make in the spider. They've got a little spider jig that's really cool. It's got a curly tail, and then kind of a grub or uh, skirt body that's on the front that flares back like a lot of those bass jigs. So it's a real full body but compact uh, little, little jig called the spider jig. We've got a twin tail jig. We've got all their colors in that. Um, and then Bobby Garland has some brand new baits that they've come out with that, uh, that, that we're keeping 
their, their full line on that too. One is called the scent wiggler. It's an actual scented and segmented bait. Uh, it's like little, little bitty uh, plastic uh, crappie nibbles that are all joined together with a little tail. And so you can, you can fish the whole thing. You can use that as a trailer behind another jig. You can pull it apart and just use one of the little pieces of it, but it's a highly scented little, little bait called the scent wiggler. Uh, the other one is a minimizer. And I don't know why they had to, uh, you know, Bobby Garland Company invented something Ernest I, th I thought of a long time ago when they first started fishing the Rocky Tops, and I imagine Paul did the same thing. You know, the, the slab tail Rocky Top that's got the, the single big slab tail, well, the minnow minder has a split in that tail. And the concept that Bobby Garland has come up with is you put the, you know, most of the people rig that slab slayer with the tail on the bottom. Well, you rig this minimizer with the tail on the top, so you put it on and split that tail around the hook. And then if you're fishing with a minna and jig combination, you put the minna on and then lay that double tail right over the top of the minna and your minna does not come off as quickly or as often uh, with that tail basically sitting on top of it. So you've got the jig body with, it, with that minna minder tail sitting on top of it that kind of helps hold that minna on the hook. So pretty cool little deal. Now obviously we couldn't bring all that, all that stuff, but um, some pretty cool little stuff. Uh, some of you guys may have heard Wally talk about this. We finally got these in. Uh, Bullet Weight Company uh, and Wally Marshall have come out with the Troll Tech Crappie Rig. This one, I'd, I would love to just tear the bag open and show you exactly what it is, but I can't do it because this one belongs to Donnie. I brought four up here and Donnie bought all of them, so I gotta take it. Donnie says they're Donnie says they're no good at all. But the concept on this, this is all well, I don't have anything to draw on, but it's got it's got it's built kind of like a modified mini rig. Can I open it? Oh, is it? Can I cut it anyway? Oh. All right, here. Dang. This is complicated. I know it. <laughs> All right, there it is. There it is. That that ties onto the line here, and it's got the arm that'll rotate 360 degrees. Pass it around, please. In your little rig, and your and your hooks on the bottom. And what I like about it is, is your your downtime breaking off. I mean, all you got to do, you buy snailed hooks and just wrap a new snailed hook on there and keep going. And you can do that. In, in, yeah, yeah, we've got these at the That's store now. Ounce. I think this one's a half ounce. I, we they come in half, three quarter, and one. And I think I'm just keeping them in half and three quarter. What are they? So, they are a pack of two is only three dollars and ninety nine cents. Holy smokes! I know. I thought that was pretty cheap too. <laughs> Uh, this is the S2 slider net at the uh, tackle show in Las Vegas uh, over the summer. This thing won the best new product, best new product design uh, at at the show in the freshwater category. Uh, it's a little bit heavy. I've used one, and those of you that have one may have used it before. Uh, but the extension mechanism is really, really cool. Okay, this is the this is the last thing we are finally. Uh, Branching out uh, into the custom handmade rod business. Don't don't, don't say you did this. This rod. No, don't. <laughs> this rod is handcrafted, handmade. It's it's Rhonda and I. It's our design, uh, handmade in uh, Gun Barrel City, Texas. None other than oh, no. the artist and craftsman. It goes by the name of Ratmo. <laughs> those of you that don't, those of you that know Ratmo, it's a good product. Don't worry. Those of you, those of you that don't know Ratmo, this is. I mean, there's some really good craftsmanship in this rod. What this rod is, this is an eight foot six inch rod that is built on a steelhead rod blank. It's an IM8 graphite, graphite steelhead rod blank with an extra fast tip. See? I mean that's that's one of the things I like the best about that.